hi viewers welcome to my channel on another section on AutoCAD tips and guides so this video tutorial is all about calculating area of multiple plots on AutoCAD and exporting into Excel all right so you can check under the video description to see the previous videos on how to auto number your boundary pillars serially with test okay so to calculate the area of a plot the manual way to do just that is by coming to utilities then you scroll down to measure you click on it then you scroll down to area to here you click on it so you are expected to choose the boundary point clockwisely from the beginning clockwisely going around the plots to the very beginning that you started then you click on enter on your keyboard so you are going to see the area displayed just as what you are seeing on the screen this is the area of plots 2 and 1 on this layout survey drawing so this method I just use now is so stressful time consuming and less effective all right compared to the method we are about to show you in the course of this video using the lips command which is fast and very very effective method so we are going to calculate the area of these plots in a jiffy and still export it on Excel. So to do just that, make sure your unit is set up on your AutoCAD drawing. So check under the video description to see how to set up unit accurately. Alright, so after you've confirmed that, next thing is to come to your command line, then you type table. So when you type table, this is the table icon, you click on it. So on the columns, you make it 2. If yours is beyond 2, you make the column 2, then you click on OK. So you are expected to place this at a particular section that is convenient for you on your AutoCAD work environment. So the first thing that will be on the table heading is in the course of the video i'll be using plot areas remember we want to calculate the area of these plots on this layout survey plan All right so that is the heading then the next column you are going to give it plot number then the next on this next column is area so we are going to be having plot number then the area respectively so after you are done with that the next thing is to come to your command line then you type app you click on enter so we are going to be using the leaves file in the course of this video so you are expected to navigate to where the leaves file is on your system then you scroll to where it is in the in the course of this video we are going to be using this list file here the layout area tab all right you click on it please check under the video description to see the download link to this auto lips file here so when you click on it it's going to appear here then you click on load so it is going to load successfully so when that is done you click on close so the next thing is to come to your command line then you have to type area tab so when you type area tab you are going to see it popping up you click on it then it will give you the next prompt to pick the parcel number so this has been numbered remember you are expected to number your plots the way you are seeing on the screen and make sure the plot is joined together with a polyline 2 here so, so after you've numbered your plot 
just like what you are seeing on the screen then you've joined the boundary point with a polyline each you are going to choose the parcel number which is the plot number in the course of this video it is 211 this is the first plot number i am having here the parcel number then i'm going to click on it so when i click on it it's going to ask me to pick on the table the left for results to auto insert all right so what that means is i am going to be picking this which is the left of the table for this particular empty column so i am going to click on that then you are going to see the area tabulated 211 for the plot number then the area is 537.4 meters square okay which is square meters then i am going to choose for the next parcel number which is a plus number then click on this particular left corner of the table then it's going to give me the parcel number of that all right the same way i'm going to do for plus number 230 it's going to give me the parcel number the same way for 214 that is the area 215 the area 216 as well 217 then lastly 218 so these are the area of each parcel numbers so when you are done with that you press escape on your keyboard so these are the plus numbers parcel number and the area respectively so so the next thing to do is to export this table into excel so to do just that you click on the table all right then you right click on your mouse then you are going to see export you click on that so here you can see then you, then you can define the folder you want the excel sheet to be then it is .csv so i'm just going to rename this as layout areas so i'm going to click on save so guys that is just that then i can go ahead to confirm if it is well arranged so this is it So guys, this is it on the Excel. So I can make that bold and increase it here and here. So this are just the plot numbers, then the area respectively on Excel. So guys, that is just how to calculate area of different plots on AutoCAD and export to Excel in a very quick and effective way please do where to hit on the subscribe icon to keep getting valuable content on autocad tips and guides thank you for watching see you next time